Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm gonna go over the top five Mac apps and programs that I use on a daily basis. I do wanna apologize real quick for any background noise you hear. It sounds like my neighbors are doing something in their yard. Um, but anyways, let's get right into this. So the first one uh, that I think is one of the best Mac apps is iStat Menus. Uh, this is actually version six. So this is what I use up here to kinda gauge all of my different um, temperatures across my system. And hopefully they will update this to work with the 2018 MacBook Pros uh, so that you can control the fans. Right now it doesn't work. If I set it to high, nothing happens. Um, and they said this is because of um, your own safety because uh, you could accidentally fry your CPU. I guess they've changed the way that the fans work on these new MacBook Pros, but regardless, hopefully they uh, figure out a way to get around that and put that back into this uh, because I use this all the time on my old 13 inch 2015 MacBook Pro. So on this 2018, I want to use it as well right now. This is a good segue to the next Mac app, and that is Max Fan Control. Uh, that is this one right here, and that actually does work on your 2018 MacBook Pros and also the iMac Pro. So starting with the iMac Pro and going up to these 2018 MacBook Pros with the T2 chip in them, uh, the old ways of controlling the fans like in iStat menus doesn't work. Max Fan Control, somehow they got around it and it works. Uh, it's a free download, you just go to their website, hit that and download it right there. Uh, now I believe that, uh, well obviously, this program is for advanced users who know how to use it and to use it without harming their Macs. If you don't know what you're doing, you might not wanna get this because I did a little test where I set my fans to be kind of low uh, and then I did something kind of that I knew would increase the temperatures and it didn't bump the speeds up automatically of my fans. Now that's scary because I was just doing a test. I knew exactly what I was doing, but most of you guys that maybe get this, you don't know what you're doing and you have it set maybe at like 3000 RPMs and then you do something intensive and it needs to be up at 5000, but it's not. And uh, because this thing is setting it at that. Now with iStat menus, when this one worked, if you set it at 3000 and it needed 6000, it would just jump up to 6000. It didn't care what you set. It would override that for the safety of your com computer. But with this one, I don't think it does that. At least in my testing, it hasn't done that. So just be aware, if you're gonna use it personally, I would only do change control and then I would set it at a constant, like the maximum. So I think it's around 5,000, 6,000 for uh, this fan. And I think it's like 5,400 for this one. Yeah, so set it to the max um, if you're gonna use it because I mean, the computer can't go higher than that anyway. And using too much fan can't really hurt uh, because it'll just keep things cool. Anyways, that's a very long uh, bit of information, but I wanted to let you guys know that if you wanna use this, there's how to use it in my opinion, uh, the safest way. But again, there's always a risk. Next up is GFX card status. Now I've been using this since, gosh, probably the 2012 MacBook Pros. It's really cool. So first of all, it allows you to see what graphics card you're currently using. So right now I've got it set to dynamic switching. Uh, this means it will use the integrated, which is the lesser chip. When you're doing little things like, you know, just browsing the web, it doesn't need to use the good chip. If you hit discrete only, you will switch to the dedicated graphics card, which in this case is the Radeon Pro 560X, which uses more power, but obviously it's gonna be a little smoother uh, and everything like that. So if you are going to go into a graphics intensive application and it doesn't automatically switch, you can manually do that. Or, you know, if you're just browsing the web and you want a slightly smoother experience, uh, you can do that. Uh, dynamic switching will just allow you to see, like right now it's I, it'll say a D if it's uh, on the discrete graphics card. So um, it's just cool to be able to see which one's actually being used right now. So that's why I use it. Uh, I don't usually manually change it at all. It's just cool to see. And I like to know which card my computer's using because, well, that's how I am. Next up, this is a real small one. Um, if you guys don't know, in all my old videos, you'd see a little coffee cup up here filled up. Uh, that was actually caffeine, uh, but amphetamine uh, kind of takes over here. I couldn't find a good, uh, decent looking download link for caffeine because it's so old and I don't think it's been updated. But amphetamine has kind of taken over. I know they've all got drug names, but yes, caffeine's a drug. Uh, but anyways, uh, this app is free on the Mac App Store and I really like it. It's got way more features than caffeine. And uh, the real deal breaker was it wasn't a coffee cup, but they actually have that uh, for their logo. So yeah, pretty cool. That's what I use for that. Oh, and in case you guys didn't know what it does, it keeps your Mac awake instead of sleeping it. Uh, it can do a hell of a lot more than that, uh, but I only use it for that. Just so you guys know, it starts up at startup, turns on, and that's pretty much it. I know I could just set my Mac to never sleep, but this is how I like to do it. So that's that. Last but not least, certainly not least, is Little Snitch. So what this does is it allows you to see every single inbound and outbound connection made to your Mac. So with regards to network. So if a 
application, a Mac app you're using, wants to talk to its servers, it will pop up an alert and you'll have to either allow it or deny it. Uh, you don't have to allow it. Uh, and there's tons of granularity to this. Uh, it's really used for professionals or people that know what they're doing, um, but you guys could definitely get it and try to learn it. Good for those that are security conscious and you don't want your, you want to check, you know, uh, what is actually talking to the internet, what's talking to the servers, you know, to make sure your data is still secure and private. So I block all kinds of stuff that I don't think is needed, uh, like from certain developers, like if they're trying to like pull logs off of my thing, like it'll pop up and say, oh, you know, this is the website it's trying to go to, you know, crashdump.spotify.com. They don't need to know that, so I decline it, whatever. Uh, totally personal preference, but I like to know what's going on on my machine. This makes it really easy to do that, and it's only like 35 bucks, I think. I think that's how much I paid. Um, it was a while back, but it's really good. Highly recommend it. Yeah, those are my top five Mac apps. Those are just the baseline ones that I pretty much install on any Mac uh, when I get one. Now, if you do have a 13-inch MacBook Pro, you're not going to need this graphics card status because you only have one card in there. You can't really switch them. <laughs> so you might be able to skip that one, but all the rest... Uh, you guys can use and they're pretty cool so that's all i got for this video guys i think the total like this this one and little snitch are the only ones that cost money this one's like 15 bucks or something this one's like 35 uh, max fan control gfx card status and amphetamine are all free so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it kind of gave you a general idea of how to use these applications as well i think they're uh, very important i don't think i'd use a mac without all of them installed uh, just because they're so helpful uh, i'll have links to them all down below in the description leave a comment down below with your favorite mac application and maybe it'll be featured in the next video because i'm always looking for new things these are just the staples these are very important that i think uh, a lot of people should have so that's all i got for this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe hit that little bell icon so you guys get notified every time i drop a new video and i will see you guys in the next one peace